This video is designed to give you a full understanding of what to check during your pre-inspection of a forklift prior to operation. This video will also guide you on the order in which you should check the items listed in your lift truck equipment logbook to make for a good inspection with minimal time used. Pre-inspections must be completed prior to use once per shift. If deficiencies are found, a stop call wait event has to occur and a member of the site leadership will be notified to correct the deficiency or make a decision to lock out the lift until corrections can be made. Never operate a lift you find to be unsafe. Mark the date. Note the time start. Mark the hour meter start, which is where to find the hours on a lift. If this is the initial shift inspection, mark slash. If it's not the first inspection for a shift, you can mark I, indicating the lift was inspected earlier in the shift. Ensure that the lift plug is connected all the way and there is no corrosion at the battery. Visually check that the cables going to the main battery and the lift are free from damage. Make sure all the vent caps on the battery are in place and secure. Visually make sure that the battery is at an acceptable level to begin operation. Check to make sure there are no visible cracks or missing bolts from the overhead guard and the guard is not bent. Make sure there's no visible damage to the carriage of the forklift. Inspect your tires and wheels. Make sure there are no major cracks in the tires, bends in the rims, or missing lug nuts. Make sure the forks are not bent or cracked and the locking pins are in place and locked into position. Ensure there's no cracks, bends, or missing bolts from the mast. Ensure the data plate is legible and you know what the capacity of your lift is based upon the plate. Ensure the seat belt is not frayed, cut, and is able to latch. Lift the forks as far as possible safely. Ensure the controls for tilt work all the way in both directions. Ensure there's no cracks, bends, or missing bolts from the mast. Check that the tilt cylinders have no damage or leaks. And lower them while ensuring the controls are working properly. While stopped, check that the steering is free and working properly. Repeat while moving to ensure the same result. With the parking brake pulled, put the lift in forward and ensure the brake holds while applying acceleration. Release the parking brake and check that the service brake stop the lift in forward and reverse properly. Make sure all required lights are working properly. Make sure the horn and backup alarm work properly. Ensure that no warning lights are present in the gauge cluster and that all the gauges are at a normal operating level. If your lift passes inspection, you will mark this slash. If your lift fails, mark this area X and stop, call, and wait to discuss with your leadership. This is where a decision will be made to run the lift or shut it down. Also, a decision will be made about Form B and whether it needs to be completed and turned into management. Always ensure your initials are legible in the book. These checks will help to ensure you're operating your lift safely. They will also help add to the life of the equipment by spotting issues and having them repaired before they become major breakdowns.